Hello everybody, one of our uh, evening projects in the garage. We've got a lawnmower from a client, just to do a tune-up on it. Apparently it uh, cut great. It's a Husqvarna 6021P. It's a Kohler, uh, it's 149 cc, so it's a fairly big lawnmower. I started it, I started on the, the first pull, but uh, as you can see, there was a couple problems. One, and making a big clunky noise. So what I did was I took a look at it and the uh, lawnmower blade is uh, basically, and cause it's just over nine inches on this side. This side's almost 12 inches. So it uh, seems to be missing a piece off it. It was quite bent and is garbage. Also the next problem is the both front wheels. So I guess what happens is the lawnmower so old that basically the metal from the, uh, the lawnmower deck is kind of ripped right off. So we come around and flip it over. We have the uh, grass roots tie wrapped shut. Already drained the gas out of it. We have the front uh, piece. It's basically there's nothing, nothing holding it on here. So it looks like uh, the right wheel is going to come off too. So. I already take, took the lawnmower blade off. We'll get a new one once we kind of get this all cleaned up, ground up, and we're going to reinforce that and uh, see if we can get this Husqvarna lawnmower working. Just as good as if it was new. Stay tuned. So the first step was we took off both wheels. We had to use the impact to take them off. There's a one piece from the mower deck that had broken off was still attached to the wheels. And one of the height adjustments uh, it's quite bent. We're going to have to fix that up. And we have the other wheel on. We left that one attached just to uh, use that as a guide to figure out how to put this one back. So what we did was we took off the, uh, the piece off the bottom. We have uh, the mower deck. I use my foot to prop that up. Piece that's broken out of there. And what we're gonna do is, I just took a piece of cardboard and uh, just kind of cut a rough template for a piece. So we're gonna get a piece of metal and we're gonna cut that, clean this all up and we'll uh, weld that to that and we're gonna make new plates to mount the wheels onto. So here uh, we can see with the tape measure that we the one side just uh, about nine and a quarter. And I'll flip this around. And uh, I think it's about 10 and a quarter, 10 and a half. So it's missing about a good inch and a quarter off one side. Okay, we're going to take a look at the lawnmower today. We have some free time. So, uh, first of all, we got safety gear on, we got, got eyeglasses, headphones. And, and safety safety sandals. safety sandals, socks, and shorts. So we're gonna use our uh, it's just our angle grinder. We have a, a steel uh, wheel on it or wire brush, I guess, on it. We can end up taking off all the rust, all the paint, so we'll be able to weld on a new plate. Okay. So before anybody puts any comments, we have the proper safety gear. We have steel toe boots and some fireproof coveralls. So we have our. Um, little cardboard template we've trimmed that a little bit smaller just kind of trace it onto a piece of metal and uh, we're gonna have to use a, a cutting disc on our angle grinder to, to take that uh, cut that out our bearings or one of the bearings in our metal bandsaw went and it's on back order right now so we're waiting for that to come in so I mean it would have taken us probably about a, a minute to cut that out but take us a little bit longer with the grinder
summertime. So we got these spruce beetles that are flying around everywhere. They, everybody says they bite like heck, but I've never had one actually bite me. So maybe he's trying to bite my glove. Bye. So I think what we decided to do, we took that uh, piece that had been broke out in the middle and we just uh, ground it up and we're gonna weld it in place. And that way it just has the, uh, the hole for the wheel so we can line it up perfectly with our new piece. Okay, what we did is we just uh, put that piece that had uh, ripped out back in there, we tacked it on, welded it, and the, one of the reasons we did that is we just, uh, the wheel was through this hole. So we're gonna put our piece on, we'll clamp it on, and we'll mark it with a marker from the backside, and we'll drill that out, and that way we know exactly where the, the hole's gonna go. So we're gonna put our... Just using a punch and I'm going to punch the middle of all the holes just so it's uh, a lot easier to start the drill bit. I think it's almost time to clean out our workshop here. We have uh, some of the potatoes we've been digging up here. And uh, lots of wood piles and that, so we're running out of room. Drill out those holes. Let's see how it lines up. Well, we got it all welded up. We were gonna just kind of, kind of grind it down a little bit, but that's good enough. And uh, we're gonna use some red paint. We went to the hardware store, and it's a holiday Monday today, and everything's closed. So we'll just uh, use red instead. Well, I'm gonna get lectured. Look at the paint dripping there. This uh, lawnmower is going out to a camp anyway, so I don't think we have to worry about how it looks as long as it functions and works. We just had to put a longer uh, bolt in this just because it uh, the extra thickness. Actually, oh, 
tighten that down in just a minute. We'll tip over the lawnmower and we'll show you what we did underneath. So I think we managed to get away with uh, just a new lawnmower blade. It was just a universal, it's about 30 bucks. So we just put this uh, piece back in. We put uh, two bolts bolted back in and uh, seems to work. So we'll uh, put it down and we'll try it out. So that uh, new lawnmower blades, a 22 inch, we just have to tighten that wheel. That uh, lawnmower blades, a 22 inch universal. So we measured the, uh, the old blade and the old blade is basically, I think it's about, uh, there's only about uh, 20 inches, just under 20 inches there right now. So that's how much of it's missing. Let's get some gas and we'll try it out. There's only about... Well, we thought uh, when we were at it, we are gonna, we might as well just change the oil. So it's pretty black. I don't it know. It looks uh, gray too, which would probably be metal. That or is water in it too. It's almost kind of a milky. Anyway, we looked online at the manual and it says it takes 20 ounces. So I, I I had to actually use my phone to do the conversion. Right. 200 so, mils. Uh, yeah, so 20 ounces, 590 milliliters. And there was only uh, 200 milliliters of oil in the engine. So we'll put the proper amount in and we'll see how it runs. 220 ounces. Start it up and uh, see if it works. The grass is like waist height. We thought uh, before we gave the lawnmower back, we'd uh, try it out and we'll cut our trails. Anyway, I think our project uh, was successful. The wheels haven't fallen off. The blade hasn't fallen off. We're able to cut our trails here. So we'll see you on the next video.